and a very warm welcome to Grand Cayman. Ruby Princess is safely secured at her anchorage and we have now received clearance from the local authorities to begin our tender operation. Today we will be taking you ashore using the ship's continuous tender service. Ruby Princess will be sailing for Rotan as soon as all are on board and the last tender from the shore to the ship will be at 3.30 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you are on a tour, shopping or exploring on your own, we hope you may enjoy an excellent day ashore in Grand Cayman. Good morning again, folks. We're going to go straight to hell. How about that? <laughs> From there on, we're going to go to the Turkey Rum Cake Factory, come way to the other side of the island, stop at the blowers, rack of 10 sails, go to Rum Point. Hopefully, the weather should be okay by then. It's clearing up again. We had a little bit of rain, as you noticed. And then we're coming back into town. Right here we have Georgetown, a couple of Grand Cayman. So when you come back, depending on your last tender, you can browse through here, get rid of the little bit of money you don't have. <laughs> or you maybe want to open up in one of the 500 banks an account, which is not that easy anymore. Now we've set a British colony, and we all speak English here. Not like in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. Soon you're going to see, you name it, we have it. Burger King, KFC, Wendy's, Pizza, Papa John's, Papa, you name it, but no McDonald's. Folks, this is the beginning of the Seven Mile Beach now. <coughs> This is our hotel here on the left hand side, Treasure Island Resort. And one town was owned by Tanya Tucker and Kenny Rogers. And it do still have a home here. American Ivan, 2004. We were destroyed about 90%. And we have rebuilt Grand Cayman and still rebuilding. And that's the main entrance to the governor's resident. Now we own the house. They stay here for a term of four years. If we appreciate their advice, they're allowed to stay for another four years. But after eight years, they must go on. They go to work every morning, but they do not get involved in local politics. They're more or less in charge in police department and border patrol immigration. 
so it has survived quite a few hurricanes. Last major hurricane was 2004 Hurricane Ivan, and the one prior to that, which actually we got hit on, was 1932. But we, of course, had quite a few close calls. That's a traditional Cayman style home. It's over 100 years old. It is sitting above the ground. <coughs> it has about a foot clearance. That's good for hurricanes. The breeze goes under the house, keeps the house cool. Or flooding when it rains a lot. Coming up ahead of us is going to be Hell City. Before we get into Hell, we also see the primary school. We might see some kids out there, or maybe later on, all our school children wear a uniform. Different school, different color of uniform. Hell is actually a limestone rock formation. And over the millions of years, so the salt air and salt water has eroded into a black rock formation. And people call it hell. And that gentleman, of course, makes me kill it. And this straight ahead of us is the hell limestone rock formation. So we want to have a look at that. We have this rock formation all over the island. Okay, we're getting there. From here on, it's a little bit hazy, all the way into town is the beach, seven miles. This is the beginning of the beach, so it's not as nice still here, but once you get further down to the condos and hotels, it's getting better and better. Hurricane Ivan damaged us very badly out here. People were sitting on the rooftops on the left hand side which looked like beach. And that's the important town public beach coming up. And there's also a cute little restaurant there. 
because you push it through and blows up water. Depending on the waves, you can use some good ones or not. So we're gonna spend a few minutes here to take some nice pictures and stretch our legs. Look straight ahead across the horizons, a little bit down below, you can see Jamaica from here. And Jamaica from here by air is only about 30 minutes flight. Okay.
side. And you also just bought late last year property on the left hand side too. Nice kid. I guess not. Maybe it's Somebody did to stop somewhere. Yeah. And he gave out his two description this morning. The yeah. lady was the white company. Why don't we go back? Do you want to go back and go to the pool? Okay. Last one she wants to go to the pay He wants to go back to the pool. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Let's go back to the pool, okay? Check this tree out here. It's called a flip-flop tree. After Hurricane Ivan, we found all those flip-flops. We just nail up up on that tree. Today, most of the time, it is wedding people who are actually putting up their wedding shows here. And this is also one of the lowest land areas in the Gun Cayman. This one is owned by wealthy people, they are twins, and they keep it viable up to date. The only thing is they don't have sun in their lawn. They have a green lawn. You like that one? Yeah. yeah. Nice, huh? All two ladies are, well, like I said, they're twins. They must be almost 90 years old now. Very nice people. So at this point, I hope you all had a good time with me. I hope you had a good time in the Cayman Islands. I wish you all a safe journey going on, safe trip home, and I guess for some of you guys it's going to be happy snow shoveling by the time you get home. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get a little bit of fun out of you guys. But I want to point out the there's your um, guy Harvey coming up on the right hand side just before Hard Rock Cafe. Guy Harvey, he's a nice guy, but quite expensive. That's his restaurant here on the right hand side, Guy Harvey. That's his um, souvenir shop, Guy Harvey. And that's your hard work company. Like, yeah, I see people upstairs, so they are open up again. This Bayshore Mall is an expensive jewelry shop. And straight ahead of you, the white building with the staircase going up and the red roof, is the National Galleria. That's where you get quite a bit of nice, interesting local arts and crafts. <coughs> yeah, I think that's the best way to drop you right by Margarita Ville entrance. Also inside Margarita Ville entrance, you have quite a few exotic animals, like iguanas, and other creatures in there as well. That's the National Museum right here. Yeah. <coughs>
And if you do, must go back to the ship. Just make your way across the street, going back to the pier. Thank 
Coming up from the bridge, hope you have all enjoyed the visit to the beautiful island of Grand Cayman. We're now almost ready to sail. Unfortunately, one of the shore excursions boat had some technical problem, so the 30 passengers on that tour are running a little late. The information I have is they should be in the next 15 minutes or so. Soon we start heaving up our anchor, swing the ship around, so when they come, we'll be ready to go. So probably departing in 30 minutes time. Once we sail, we'll be proceeding on a southwesterly track in the Western Caribbean Sea towards the island of Roatan, Honduras. We'll be approaching the island of Roatan in the morning around 8 a.m. from the south, then proceed towards a beautiful Mahogany Bay. We'll be entering the bay around 9.15 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is not to be docked alongside on schedule by 10 a.m. tomorrow. Weather-wise, good wind and sea condition, mostly following winds and seas on the way to Rotan. Forecast for tomorrow, mostly good, partly cloudy skies, winds from the north, around 10 miles per hour. Temperature 26 degrees centigrade, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. For your information, during the night, the ship's clocks will be set one hour back. So an extra hour for you to rest during the night. And then also this in order for us to be on longer time for our hour in Rotan tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>